Welcome to our YouTube channel. Ah, the 60s. A decade marked by cultural shifts, revolutionary music, and the vibrant culinary scene. Do you remember the sweet symphony of flavor that the 1960s brought? Desserts were at the forefront, playing a starring role in domestic kitchens and potluck gatherings all over America. It was a golden age of dessert making where creativity and crowd-pleasing decadence were the recipe for success. Be it a classic cake adorned with caramelized pineapple rings and cherries or a show-stopping baked Alaska with its golden brown meringue exterior, desserts were more than just a final course. They were a testament to the culinary spirit of the decade. The 60s had a dessert for every palate, from the creamy delights of ambrosia salad to the flamboyant spectacle of bananas foster. Today, we're taking a trip down memory lane to revisit the top 10 most famous desserts from the 1960s. So, sit back, relax, and let's get started. Moving on to our next dessert from the 1960s, landing at number 10 on our list, we present the pineapple upside down cake. This classic dessert offers not just an enjoyable baking experience, but a taste that's incomparable. Visualize a light vanilla-infused cake blanketed with pineapples turned golden with caramel and crowned with vibrant juicy cherries. Now imagine this image flipped over, precisely the bewitching charm of this dessert. This cake was a sensation during the 1960s, introducing a tropical twist to the traditional dessert spread at family meals and social events. The intensified sweetness of the caramelized pineapple complemented the rich, moist texture of the giving birth to a symphony of flavors that simply begged to be savored. And the cherries? Their striking color and additional sweetness were like the perfect finishing touch. The pineapple upside-down cake was not just any dessert. It signified a delicious blend of imagination and pleasure, embodying the spirit of a time that celebrated change and novelty. It was a classic dessert that infused a tropical vibe to the dining scene. Moving on to our next dessert from the 1960s at number nine, we discover the vibrant and entertaining Jell-O mold. This luminescent and jiggly delight was a common feature on dessert tables of that era. The Jell-O mold is a gelatin dessert crafted in unique decorative molds, resulting in its distinctive shape. The true charm lay in the surprises it held within. The Jell-O mold was a joyous surprise package, potentially filled with a variety of fruits or even marshmallows, adding an extra layer of allure and flavor. Fruits, encapsulated in the shining gelatin, brought a burst of flavor and a playful aspect to the dessert. The Jell-O mold was a testament to the creativity of that time, morphing a simple treat into a dessert masterpiece. It was as much a visual feast as it was a delight for the taste buds contributing to its popularity during the 1960s. Moving on to our next dessert from the 1960s, we arrive at number eight, the opulent baked Alaska. This dessert is not just a dish, but a spectacle, showcasing the creative prowess of the time. The journey begins with a cake base crowned by a generous dollop of ice cream. Yet the charm doesn't end there. The cake and ice cream are swathed in a meringue layer. The masterpiece is then briefly submitted to the oven just enough to endow it with a toasted exterior, while preserving the icy coolness of the ice cream within. A fascinating play of temperatures, the baked Alaska then and now commands the spotlight as a dessert. Its juxtaposed textures and temperatures invite the taste buds on an exhilarating ride, from the sugary crunch of the meringue to the refreshing creaminess of the ice cream. Unquestionably, a dessert that introduced the concept of the wow factor to any 1960s party. We've now reached numbers seven and six on our list with two delectable 1960s desserts, Ambrosia and Bananas Foster. Let's begin with Ambrosia Salad. This isn't the salad you're probably picturing. It's a creamy sweet fruit salad that took the 1960s potluck scene by storm. Created from canned fruit cocktail, marshmallows, coconut, and whipped cream, this dessert was a harmonious blend of textures and tastes. The canned fruit cocktail offered a spectrum of flavors, from the tartness of cherries to the sweetness of peaches and pears, while the marshmallows provided a fluffy element. Coconut introduced a hint of the tropics, and the whipped cream brought everything together in a creamy, irresistibly rich dessert. Picture this scenario. You're at a potluck surrounded by loved ones. Amidst a table bursting with dishes, your attention is captivated by the ambrosia salad. You serve yourself a portion, and the first mouthful whisks you off to a realm of sweetness and creaminess. 
This is a dessert that unites people, a dessert that epitomizes the spirit of the 1960s in many ways. Moving on to our next 1960s dessert, Bananas Foster. This was more than just a dessert. It was the main attraction. Bananas sautéed in butter, brown sugar, and rum, then flambéed and served atop vanilla ice cream. The caramelized bananas paired harmoniously with the rich, creamy ice cream. The flambéed rum introduced an element of sophistication and thrill. Envision this scene. You're at a gathering, and the host presents a sizzling pan of caramelized bananas. The room falls silent as they douse the bananas with rum and set them aflame. The flames whirl and twirl, bathing everyone's faces in a warm glow. As the flames subside, the bananas are ladled over vanilla ice cream, culminating in a dessert that's both decadent and exhilarating. Much like the ambrosia salad, Bananas Foster encapsulates the essence of the 1960s, a period of indulgence, excitement, and pushing the envelope. Two desserts that encapsulated the 1960s spirit of indulgence and togetherness. Continuing our sweet journey to the 1960s, we encounter two timeless classics, the Swiss Roll and the Lemon Meringue Pie. Let's take a bite into the Swiss Roll history first. This elegant yet straightforward dessert has emerged as a tea time delight during the 1960s. Visualize a subtle sponge cake as light as a feather, spread with a layer of sugary whipped cream or tangy jam. Then it's neatly rolled into a flawless log shape with a careful touch. Every slice unveils a captivating spiral, a swirl of cake and stuffing that's as delightful to the eye as it is to the taste buds. The Swiss roll was seen as the height of class, a dessert that could transform an everyday afternoon into a grand event. Following the Swiss roll, we have the lemon meringue pie, a dessert that's a symphony of contrasts. A rich, flaky crust nestles a sharp, tangy filling crafted from fresh lemons. It's like a sunbeam on your plate, a hint of summer regardless of the season. Perched on top is a meringue cloud, airy and light, sweet but balanced. The meringue is gently browned to infuse a caramel flavor hint, thus creating a gorgeous golden crown. This was a preferred dessert choice during the 1960s, adored for its lively flavors and breathtaking presentation. These desserts, the Swiss roll and the lemon meringue pie, were more than just sugary indulgences. They were a tribute to the baking artistry, a party of the pure joy derived from crafting something delectable from fundamental ingredients. They were a staple at family reunions, relished at tea parties, and cherished during tranquil moments of solitude. The Swiss roll and the lemon meringue pie, like the other desserts we've explored, were integral to life's sweet instances in the 1960s, Today, they continue to be adored, not just for their enchanting tastes, but also for the nostalgia they stir up. They take us back to simpler, more idyllic times, to days that are no more, and to the eternal joy of a well-crafted dessert. Both desserts that continue to be treasured, whisking us back to simpler, more idyllic times. Advancing to our next pair of 1960s desserts, we present the pistachio salad and the cherry cheesecake. During the swinging 60s, the pistachio salad was the star attraction of numerous supper gatherings. This dessert salad, with its sweet, creamy texture, was a delightful fusion of pistachio pudding mix, crushed pineapple, marshmallows, and a lavish serving of whipped cream. Its distinct taste made it a highly desired dish at dinner functions. Progressing to our second dessert, we the cherry cheesecake. A symbol of luxury in that era, this dessert consisted of a rich, creamy cheesecake, crowned with a succulent layer of cherry pie filling, served either chilled or baked. Its extravagant essence made it an irresistible luxury for the palate. Whether it was the unique spin of the pistachio salad or the indulgent cherry cheesecake, these delicacies were more than mere desserts. They were integral to the 1960s culture. Two additional testimonies to why the 1960s were an exceedingly sweet era. Now, let's proceed to another classic dessert from the 1960s, the Black Forest Cake. Introduce the ultimate 1960s dessert, this delectable treat is an explosion of flavors. It begins with layers of moist chocolate cake. Sandwiched between these layers is a hearty filling of whipped cream and cherries, forming a delightful contrast of textures. To finish it off, a generous dollop of whipped cream and a liberal dusting of chocolate shavings adorns the top. It's a cake that is visually appealing as much as it is scrumptious. Back in the 1960s, the Black Forest cake was not a daily dessert. 
Rather, it was a novelty, exclusively reserved for celebratory events and social gatherings. The presentation of a black forest cake was a spectacle in itself, signaling a time of joy and extravagant indulgence. Today, each bite of this cake offers a nostalgic journey back to the 1960s, adding a perfectly sweet ending to our culinary journey through this era. As we conclude our decadent trip down memory lane, remember that these treats were more than just desserts. They were a testament to the creativity, innovation, and sense of community that defined the 1960s. From the extravagant pineapple upside-down cake to the festive black forest cake, each dish tells a story of a time when desserts were not just sweet treats, but a way to bring people together and celebrate the good times. This is the sweet taste of the 1960s, a decade that, in many ways, shaped the culinary world as we know it today. That's it for today's video. We hope you enjoyed this sweet journey through the 1960s. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more delicious content. See you in the next video.